Hello. Conair is proud to present the Micro Wheel Dryer, a bold new standard for low volume resin dehumidification. Before we introduce you to the Micro Wheel Dryer, let's talk about the challenges to typical small volume drying. Conair, as well as many other manufacturers, offer equipment that is typically too large for small volume drying. Compressed air drying is compact, but it's a single pass operation. A compressed air dryer exhausts 100% of the compressed air used for drying from the hopper. That means that 100% of the air that is being used for drying the material ends up in the same room where the dryer is located. Also, compressed air drying also consumes a great deal of energy. Compressed air dryers and many types of dryers uh, lack the precision typically expected for many markets like medical and electronics. Basically compressed air dryers offer a temperature controller that controls the heat for uh, the material and it offers a regulator for controlling the airflow and that's about it. There is no feedback loop. There is not really the precision that uh, boulders are, have come to expect from other types of equipment. Now some exceptions come in the form of compact desiccant dryers but unfortunately most employ antiquated twin tower designs where there are literally two towers of desiccant beads within the dryer. We have an example of one of those in the lower right hand portion of this picture. As a result of the twin tower designs we have unreliable dew points. In the process of switching from bed to bed dew points have a tendency to vary and spike. Also twin tower type dryers use dusty contaminating desiccant beads and what we mean by dusty and contaminating is that desiccant material is usually encased in a clay binder. That clay binder breaks down over time and many times that clay dust can end up in the process. Not at all acceptable. And many of these dryers are still too large for most operations. And once again, like the compressed air dryers, these simplified control systems that operate the dryer just fine, but do not give the kind of feedback that users need, do not address user needs adequately. So what the world really needs is a compact dryer that uses desiccant wheel technology. Now desiccant wheels have been proven to be the cleanest, most efficient drying medium in use today. We have a picture of the desiccant wheel right there in the middle of this slide. That is a desiccant medium that is formed right onto those corrugated uh, material, allowing air to pass and providing a much cleaner operation, no beads. A desiccant assembly that we have come to know is shown there on the left, shown with its drive motor and end caps and so forth. Continuous wheel rotation provides uniform, spike-free drying that can be easily monitored. So the wheel moves continuously. We do not have the spikes that are a result of switching back and forth between desiccant beds, the temperature spikes, the dew point spikes, and so forth. But unfortunately, the drying equipment using the desiccant wheel has typically been too large for consideration. And so we have a big question mark there. What is the dryer of the future? Well, we think we know the answer to that. Introducing the micro wheel dryer from Conair. Desiccant wheel technology in a compact package. So finally, a fully featured dehumidifying dryer in a compact hopper mounted package. You can see the entire unit right there. The hopper on the left, stainless steel with an aluminum shell and the stainless steel cabinet of the dryer on the right. Uh, this is proven desiccant wheel operation, although very small and using only single phase electric. This dryer requires no water, no compressed air at all, so there are no valves to switch and even the water problem is solved by using an air to air heat exchanger within the dryer, so there is no need to connect cooling water to this to bring down the return temperatures from the dryer common to many other dryers in the market. Now in addition to this small compact package this has a very sophisticated control even with communications capability and we'll talk about that in a moment. So this total drying package is ready made for precision molders and medical production giving them not only the size, the ease of use, the stainless appearance but also the feedback they require for their operations. 
So let's take a look inside the micro wheel dryer's desiccant wheel. And once again, this is spike free drying with continuous honeycomb rotation. And we can actually see that honeycomb in the middle of this picture, right between those manifolds. This is a gear driven desiccant wheel. So unlike larger models that have kind of questionable belts or chains, this is actually a gear driven uh, desiccant wheel. And it is gear driven by a stepper motor, which allows ultimate in control and the ultimate in feedback on actual rotation. This little wheel, as small as it is, has full process, regeneration, and cooling stages for very effective drying. And of course, it's dust free. It's bead free. It uses the honeycomb desiccant media, so there is never a risk of breakdown or dust in the uh, process air. Minimal airflow is required. Of course, it's small, so of course minimal airflow is required. But also, because of the components used in this particular dryer, the uh, moving air can be monitored and controlled. And so it is really provides the optimum airflow and no more for effective drying. As a matter of fact, the airflow is automatically adjusted to match throughput requirements. And as small as it is, it's also monitored for high energy efficiency. So the uh, single phase electrical connection for this device uses that electrical energy very stingily. And it's quiet. For those that are used to compressed air dryers at very small throughputs, they will be surprised at the fact you put, turn this dryer on and you really hear actually nothing. Now the desiccant rotor is manufactured by a company called Proflute out of Sweden. And that rotor uh, company has recently been acquired by Munters. Uh, probably the world's largest manufacturer of desiccant wheels. Let's talk a little bit about the micro wheel dryer control. And once again, this control matches processor needs for precision, drying, and feedback. And we're going to see how here. Number one, there is a built in material database. Unlike any other dryer control in the market, there is actually a built in database of drying parameters for 50 materials. This comes equipped with the dryer right out of the box. So a user setting up a job may first select the material from the list of 50 and then simply set the required rate. The dryer then performs all calculations to effectively dry that material. Or if the user prefers their own settings, for a high level of confidence or because their material does not happen to be on the list of 50, there is up to 30 spots to reserve their own drying formulas. This little control also provides something that we call MPM, Material Protection Manager. This detects the material not being used. This is a decreased throughput or simply a modification from the, uh, from the overall uh, throughput of the dryer. The dryer will sense that. It will place the dryer in a standby note mode. It will reduce the delivery air temperature, but it will also resense the material demand and start the drying process back up in plenty of time to assure that no material is left undried. The MPM feature is particularly useful for sensitive materials like nylons that cannot be over dried. And so instead of running exactly the same airflow, exactly the same uh, temperature, for uh, all the time that the dryer is on, this dryer will actually sense material usage and modify its operation accordingly. The readouts can be in either metric, or as we're used to in the United States, imperial. And the dryer also includes a feature called deep regeneration. Now what deep regeneration does, when it's engaged, it will automatically, every 100 hours, run the maximum possible regeneration temperature inside the dryer with the intention of burning off the volatiles that may have collected on the desiccant wheel. This is a very, very nice feature and can dramatically extend the life of the desiccant if desiccant has, uh, would be contaminated by volatiles. Now, if somebody does not have a volatile problem with the materials they're running, this feature does not have to be engaged, but they can depend on this feature to actually extend the operational life of that wheel if in fact there is a volatile problem. One of the options that will also be offered with this dryer is a standalone volatile trap where the return air temperature from the drying hopper will be taken through a trap that is fed with cool water, allowing those volatiles to be uh, drawn off and then before it sends the air back to the dryer.
The micro wheel dryer is provided in two basic models, the MW1, micro wheel one, and the MW2. It is coupled to uh, five different hoppers. These two models are coupled to five different hoppers, and you can see the list there, five different configurations. And our picture is showing the middle one there, the MW1, coupled with a one cubic foot hopper. A very compact, very easy to mount to the machine uh, drying package. A little bit more about the micro wheel features. Once again, stainless steel material contact points. And what we mean by that, the entire internal elements of the drying hopper, the lid, the uh, cone and so forth, are all stainless steel and they use an aluminum exterior on the drying hopper, although a stainless steel exterior for the drying hopper suitable for medical applications will be available soon. The uh, standard configuration is a hand fill lid, but a vacuum loader or receiver can be fitted. And Conair's TLM or TLR models shown in the lower left there are ideal for this application. The hinged hopper lid includes a lockup, and you can see that in the middle picture there at the bottom. The user raises that lid and that's where it stays without any ex additional action and then the lid can be released with a little catch back on the hinge. The compact size of this package allows easy mounting on any machine throat and a floor stand is also available suggested for lab environments and so forth. And once again all models operate on 220 volts single phase 60 and in fact 50 cycles. Very very nice. Let's take a look at the micro wheel control features. Number one, we have a default screen, and this screen shown in this uh, slide is showing what will be seen when the uh, any time the control is left alone for more than 30 seconds, it will default back to the screen. Right off the bat, we can see a very very clear indication of the actual temperature. In this case, 84 degrees F. We can also see the status. When this picture was taken, we were actually warming up, and that's exactly what it shows there. The airflow is clearly displayed, in this case 8.2 CFM. And also the dew point is displayed, in this case 23 degrees F. Now this is a calculated dew point because every function of this dryer can be monitored. Heats, rotor speed, airflow, and so forth. The dew point can actually be very reliably calculated. In this case it's 23 degrees F, obviously because it's starting up and it's on its downward march towards minus 40 degree dew point. Now if we take a look at that bottom row of figures there, we can see off PAG, which stands for page, and then over on the far right we see set. These, uh, these characters actually relate to the four small buttons below the control, and it only takes four small buttons to operate this dryer's features. Now these, uh, the arrowed uh, row of uh, characters there actually change based on the screen and we can go up, down, set, and so forth, and uh, allows for very, very easy, very uh, familiar navigation of a lot of functions with some very, very simple controls. This slide shows another set of characters along that bottom row, so you get a little bit of the flavor of how this dryer operates. So those, uh, that bottom row shows next, so that we can go uh, between next parameter, we can increase or decrease, and we can actually in escape. Uh, but we are showing the, uh, the screen that would appear when it comes time to program this dryer. So the information is presented very clearly. We have application data for setting up a drying application. It's called working data. We have a, the, uh, the information associated with the dryer itself called machine data. And then we have actual data. So if you simply want to see what is set up and what kind of feedback you are getting from the dryer control itself. All very, very clear, all easily accessible. And here is an example of the setup process. So step one might be to select the material from the material database. In this particular case, someone has selected number 33. And the name of that material, very clearly listed, is ABS or polycarbonate. So what would happen if this was actually selected? Then the dryer would simply move into providing the parameters for that particular uh, set of materials and would operate all the user would have to then put in is the required rate. Or the user could actually modify that rate and come up with their own material parameters and that's what we see on this screen. 
we have new material parameters. There's a name given to those parameters by the user. Ah, oh, look at this, it's actually Conair polycarbonate, very clearly stated. The temperature for drying that is 250 degrees. Now the next number is actually the material airflow calculation formula. This is literally the math that is used to calculate the amount of CFM required for the type of throughput. And once again, like all of these parameters, these, these could be changed and create a new formula or simply modify the Conair PC formula. Right below that we have the residence time, 180 minutes. The uh, density of the material is listed, 43.7 pounds per cubic foot. The calculated dew point, well we're down to minus 40, that's what the dryer strives for unless it is a, a, a moisture sensitive material that would be run at something besides minus 40, the dryer will provide the functions necessary to move the dew point as low as necessary and in this case it's minus 40. And then once again our list of navigation parameters at the bottom. So you get kind of a flavor for how easy this dryer is to operate and once again with only four buttons. Here's a quick overview of the micro wheel dryer options. Number one, we can change that hand fill lid over to a loader adapter for the TLM or TLR loaders from Conair. We have a picture here and a description, a drain port throat adapter. So we're going to put this thing on a machine. We think we might be changing materials frequently. This is a nice option. This is a stainless steel mounting base that includes a drain port and over on the right, if you look closely, you can actually see a purge port. So we do not need to move the dryer to put purging material into the throat of the machine. A port is provided for that. An alarm kit option will put a red LED light on top of the control panel to illuminate the uh, occurrence of uh, warnings. The dew point sensor kit, what this does is actually puts a, a dew point sensor into the dryer. Now this will no longer, when this, uh, when this kit is installed, you will no longer get a calculated dew point reading, you will get an actual dew point reading. The dew point sensor will actually record the uh, dew point of the drying air so that uh, if you need that additional kind of ve verification. So far we found that these two devices, the calculated dew point and the actual dew point, are usually within five degrees of each other. Pretty darn close. The network connection kit allows for communications. This is an RS-45 Modbus serial port. And really this network connection kit simply takes the connection from off of the control board and brings it out to the side panel for the user to plug into very easily. Another option is a weekly timer kit if you want to automatically start and stop the dryer. And we have a picture of it there plugged onto the main control board of the dryer. You can actually see the big battery there, that cylindrical device that allows this clock to keep working even when the dryer is not working. A filter check kit for the process air filter that will provide a differential to give you an idea of the, uh, the expected life of the filter and a remote control kit. So we have two of these remote control kits. The one, is, the first one here is provides an, an LCD display remote from the dryer. So this is an option where we will literally take the, the display out of the dryer, put it on the end of a cable so you can locate it wherever you want. The second one is a color version of this and a touchscreen version. Now this will be in addition to the standard LCD display that is in the dryer. When you buy this option, you will literally have two controls. One will be a remote color touchscreen. The other will still be the standard LCD in the dryer. So who needs a dryer like this? Well, we like to think that it's an underserved market looking for the perfect small dryer. Those people that have been trying to dry small quantities of material and have been forced either into a twin tower dryer with its desiccant beads that can become dusty or a compressed air dryer that uses a lot of energy, creates a constant hiss and evacuates 100% of that compressed air out into the room. So this is really made for precision processors of all types like the medical marketplace or even electrical connector manufacturers, clean room applications any processor with a need for improved quality control and process verification. We have a lot of support on this small drying product. 
So look to conairgroup.com under the dryer tab in products and you will find the literature on the micro wheel dryer. And in that, pay special attention to the list of 50 materials that we show here that are listed with all the operating parameters associated with it. We think this is a huge confidence builder. This is going to make life a lot easier for a lot of molders and extrusion people who, uh, are, who don't understand or are mystified by drying. This lays it all out for you and you can align it against your material manufacturer's needs. The warranty on the micro wheel is the same as Conair's Carousel Plus Dryer Series. And we like to think that here at Conair, we have a warranty with some teeth in it. We do stand behind our products. That is two years for the dryer and three years for the desiccant rotor. This product will ship from Franklin, Pennsylvania inventory. And we have just found out that we can ship this device to customers through UPS. The small compact dryer with its hopper is UPS shippable. Now here's some fun. Let's see what you learn today. We have a, for you a micro wheel quiz. So of all the people that make desiccant wheel dryers in the United States, that would be Conair, us, Novatech, Matsui, Unidyne offers a limited range from their foreign suppliers. Whitman offers a hybrid design. These are desiccant beads in a segmented wheel. But of all these people, how many offer a machine mounted wheel dryer? How many offer rates down to two pounds per hour? Ooh, the suspense is killing me. Well, you knew the answer before me. The answer is Con Air. Only Con Air now offers a dryer that can be a machine mounted wheel dryer and with rates down to two pounds per hour. Really the ideal dryer for medical connectors anybody that needs a precision small drying capacity dryer. We really appreciate your time and attention in discussing the new micro wheel dryer from Conair. Thanks.